in this video I want to show you how you can draw histogram using Excel now before we use Excel we should know how to do it by hand so this is an income of say 50 people so this is let me scroll up so this is up to 50 people so first I'll do first to draw histogram you have to sort this in the ascending order so let me first sort only the first 20 and then go right click and sort from smallest to the largest so continue with the current selection and that's all so this is the first so this is 74 87 201 and so on so the first thing that we do when you're doing it by hand is you have to make up a table say the smallest is 70 so let me make a big interval so i'll say it's 0 to 100 say 100 to 100 to 200 say then you got 200 to 300 then you got four, 300 to 400 400 to 500 now these are called intervals then you got um, going up to 60 600 so this is 700 so this is seven six hundred sorry this is 500 let me erase this this is 500 to 600 and then you got 600 to 700 and then you got 700 to 800 now these are called class intervals now this is called the upper limit and this is called the lower limit so when you say between 0 to 100 it is all the numbers between 0 to 99.999 100 starts here so this is 100 to 199.999 up to infinity 200 to 299 and so on so we do the tally marks so say 0 to 100 you got 1 and 2 here yeah. so you do 2 tally marks I hope you understand that so the frequency is 2 then from 100 to 200 there are none okay so that is zero then you got 200 to 300 you got one and two so you do two tally mark so this is two and from 300 to 400 you got one two three four five okay so do five tally marks one two three four five okay and then you got from 400 to 500 you got one two three so three tally marks this is just to show you a understanding of how we uh, how you can do it by hand which is very t uh, tedious so from 500 to 600 you got one two three so you got three there from 600 to 700 you got one two three four one two three four and from 700 to 800 you got only one and then you add this up so this is 4 2 plus 0 is 0 plus 2 is 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 3 is 12 15 19 20 and then you do the tally uh, so and then you draw histogram like this so you got your y-axis and your x-axis okay so this is a 0 this is 100 200 I hope you see the idea so this is 200 this is 300 so from 0 to 100 you got 2 so you do 2 so you go 1 2 3 4 5 6 so from 0 to 100 you got from 0 to 100 you got two frequencies so you do two like this and from 100 to 200 you got none from 200 to 300 you got so this is your 200 200 to 300 you got two and so on from 300 to 400 so this is 300 to 400 you got five so two three four five so it go like this so this is called histogram okay so this is a histogram of income of 20 people so hope you see the idea so let me erase this whole thing okay now if you want to do the same thing on Excel uh, it's pretty easy you have to go through a 
step of number of steps, but you get you can do this laborious work, this tedious work much efficiently. Okay, so let me only first do for 20, and then okay, so let me cancel this. Okay, so the first thing that you need to have is let me go to home. Let me make this bigger so that you can see what we are doing. And if you go on data, so let me bring this down. Yeah. If you enter data, if you enter data, you you should have data analysis on the right. Okay, just to show you. This should be this data analysis should be there. Now if it's not there, what you need to do is first go to file and then go to option. And under option you need to go to add ins. Click on add ins. Okay, and this should be there. This should be activated. This is called analysis tool uh, tool pack. It's already activated for me. So if it's not activated you have to go through the prompting and that will help you to activate it. Once it's okay, you should have this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first you to click on this data analysis and this window will open up. Okay? And then go to histogram. Click on histogram and then you go okay. And here is where you have to enter the data. So this is called input. This is the bin. Okay, now before you go on bin, so let me first make a bin here. You have to define a bin. I'll explain what is bin. So let me write this income bin. Income bin is basically the upper limit. So I'll go write 100, 200, and then you can drag this up to 800. Up to, we want up to. 800. I'll explain this. So this is your bins and this is your upper limit of the bins of the classes that we had done. If you remember we started from 0 to 100 and then we went up to from 700 to 800. Okay. So now let me scroll this. So click on data, data analysis and go to histogram. So now it's asking you two things. Where is your data and where is your bin? So I will check this, so I'll, I want the label, so click on this, label. So I want to, where is my data? So my data is the first 20 data. So let me go up to 20. Yeah, this was up to 20, isn't it? So the first 20 data. So your data, this is, this reads like this, dollar $B1, colon, dollar $B21. So your data is from? B1 to B21. So now it's asking you where is your bins. So click on bins and then highlight the bins. Okay and so we have defined where is your, this is your, this is your data and this is your bins. And open and click on this new worksheet. So this is your input and this is your output. So the Excel is asking you where do you want the output. You can have the output on the same page or you can ask Excel to open a new page. So this is new worksheet. And then if you click OK, it will give you the bins. We're almost there. So let me make this bigger. <coughs> so this is income bins and this is a frequency. Can you see 0 to 100 is 2, 100 to 200 was 0. And now we need to do a little work here. So I'll go 0 dash 100. Okay, and then here I will go ahead to write 100 dash 200. This is 200 dash 300. This is 300 dash 400. This is, I'll explain what am I doing. You'll not understand. Now, these are basically the class interval. This is 500 dash 600. And this is 600 dash 700. And 700 dash 800. So this is the income bin. So you can say that you can say that you can remove the bins if you want. Income. This is the income and this is your frequency. Okay. 
so we don't want this you can delete that okay so now you have to highlight this whole thing highlight it go to insert go to bar graph and uh, enter 2d bar okay sorry I had to go back sorry I don't want this this is not what I wanted let me scroll this up delete it okay so sorry here to highlight this let me highlight it go to data uh, column graph so not bar graph go to column and 2d column so this is your this is almost your histogram so let me make this smaller so, okay so now remove this highlight anywhere on the bars so the bars will be highlighted format data series and we don't want gaps there so and then so this is your histogram so and let me make it smaller okay so hope you see it and so here you can see this is the histogram histogram of income of 20 people you can give a title so this is you can make the smaller mm. okay okay so I hope you understand this so let me make this histogram of income that's good and then you can copy this and paste it here so this is you can see 0 to 100 you got two people 100 to 200 none 200 to 300 two and so this is a histogram so you can do this for even bigger set of data okay so here if you can label this or highlight this so if you highlight it you can go to format you know layout you can have this mm, access title so this is below so this is the income of 20 people in dollars okay so this may be the weekly income you can say this is a weekly income so this is the weekly income and the y-axis is your frequency so this is a vertical axis and then you can write type in frequency there so this is your frequency and this is your weekly income and this is a perfect histogram okay so this tells you how your income is distributed okay so if you want to do this for for the whole suppose you've got say 50 data let me do this for the whole thing so same idea highlight the data you don't need to highlight go to click on first data go to data analysis histogram and then you need to sort the so we need to define where's your income where's the input so let's say this is say let's say this is uh, let me first define the bins okay so yeah let's cancel this so you can bins so let's start from say 100 200 300 and then you can drag it down like this so let me go up to say 2000 I think 2000 is the maximum so this is a bins so go to data analysis histogram so first we need to define the data so data is you click on that and control shift down key so it will highlight the whole data okay and for bins we need to define it like this we have we are uh, checking the label so you start with the that control shift down key so that's highlighted we want to open with a new spreadsheet you press ok so this is your bins so this is your frequency so there's no one greater than 1800 so let's remove that 
so we need to go from let me make this bigger so that you can see what I'm doing so this is your income and then you do you have to do this in Excel sorry 0 to 100 yeah 0 to 100 this is 100 to 200 So I have already done this, so I didn't want to waste your time. So this is 0 to 100 and up to 1600 to 1700. So this is a distribution of income of about 50 people. So highlight the whole thing, including the title, go to insert, column graph, enter. So this is your histogram. So here you can click on the data so can you see from 0 to 100 you got uh, two three people okay so click on the bars any of the bars all the bars will be highlighted format data series and change gaps to zero no gaps so this is your histogram and yeah you can do the rest yourself you can change the title you can label the axis x and y axis so this tells you it, a number of things it tells you how this is hist uh, from 0 to 100 you've got three people you can talk about the middle 50 person you can see how it is distributed so most of the people you can see is between 200 to say 1100 you can say more than 90 percent of the income is between 200 to 1200 